1965 marks just 20 years since Czechoslovakia and all Europe were freed from fascist occupation. During six terrible years of war and Hitlerite oppression, we had to hear Radio Prague, held by the Nazis, broadcast such news as that given by this voice from the past in June 1942. Im Zuge der Verhandlungen nach den Mördern des SS-Obergruppenführers Heydrich wurden einwandfreie Hinweise dafür gefunden, dass die Bevölkerung der Ortschaft Lidic bei Kladno dem in Frage kommenden Täterkreis Unterstützung und Hilfe leistete. What is he saying? In the course of the search for the murderers of Obergruppenführer Heydrich, incontestable proof was found that the population of Lidic in Kladno had given support and assistance to the perpetrators of the crime. Das Standgericht Prag hat mit Urteil vom 5.06.1942 zum Tode durch Erschießen verurteilt. Erstens, Baxa Bohumil, Universitätsprofessor, geboren am 27.07. Now he is reading the names of Czech civilians picked up at random and executed to avenge the death of Heydrich. But our people refused to be frightened. They resisted the Nazi cruelty. They fought as partisans. They sabotaged Hitler's war machine. And 20 years ago, on May the 5th, 1945, at 37 minutes past noon, they heard the call of Radio Prague. Czech radio calling for help. We are calling all Czechs urgently to come to the aid of the radio station. People are dying here. The Germans are shooting us. Six years of suppressed hatred erupted in a nationwide revolt sparked off by that broadcast. From the besieged radio station, the battle spread through the streets of Prague, where one quick-witted radio amateur made this recording of our transmitter from the street loudspeakers. Nazi soldiers tried to silence the voice of Prague Radio, tried to cut off its appeals broadcast to fighters on the barricades and in the countryside. Hold out! Hold out! Rifle in hand, the patriotic radio station workers defended their besieged studios. With captured tanks, they prevented the Germans from cutting the main cable. We must defend Prague. We are defending Prague. Three times the Nazi Air Force bombed the radio building, so we moved our microphone into the cellar and began calling on the Allied armies to save Prague from destruction. Prague is in great danger. The Germans are attacking with tanks and planes. We are calling urgently our allies to help. Send immediately tanks and aircraft. Help us defend Prague. Do not let Prague be destroyed. We need the greatest help possible. At present, we are broadcasting from the broadcasting station and outside there is a battle raging. We don't know how long it will last or how long we can hold out. Meanwhile, on hundreds of street barricades, casualties mounted, guns and munitions were running low. We moved our secret studio to a nearby church and again appealed for help, this time to the Soviet army. This is Prague calling the Red Army. Large numbers of German troops are attacking Prague with tanks and planes. Send your aircraft to help us. We need your help. Prague will not surrender. For long days and nights, the citizens of Prague battled against the armored units of Nazi General Schoener's army. Our radio station was in the front line of that fight until early on the morning of May the 9th, 1945, a full day after victory everywhere else in Europe, we were able to broadcast the first transmission from free Czechoslovakia. 
Rudá armáda. At this very moment, Prague has been liberated by the Red Army. Soviet tanks are rolling from Hradčany Castle down to the Vultava River, quickly mopping up the last pockets of Nazi resistance. People are waving at them, embracing the crews, and the tanks are slowly opening a passage through the downtown barricades towards the main square, Wenceslas Square. Since that time, 20 years have passed. Since that time, Radio Prague has been broadcasting to you the voice of a free people. The voice of a people who hate war and fascism, a people who seek peace and friendship.